gentleman who said, should we be calling back MPs to vote again? I think they should be coming back again and again and again, absolutely regularly, to be looking at what on earth we can do to stop the war now. Because without that, without that political pressure, without making it into a top-line political imperative, then we're not going to get any progress at all. And I think from that point of view, yes, the idea of education is there, but it's also about action. It's about action to put pressure on our parliamentary representatives so that they know that they have a movement behind them which demands change. And in this respect, I don't think we are helpless in any way. I think the UK government has recognised since the Iraq war, of, since well before Chilcot, they recognise that they cannot embark on another military imperialist adventure like that again. That's why they do it all through proxies. That's why they do it all through stealth. That's why they do it also through privatised military units which go and do the job for them. So I think that we are absolutely strong as a movement, but we need to start talking about the alternatives, because otherwise you are lost in this terrible dichotomy between bombing and nothing. My final point is to go back to the question around the Palestine and anti-Semitism. And I would absolutely echo what Maha has said here. We should be absolutely resolute in opposing anti-Semitism as we oppose all forms of racism, Islamophobia, everything else. That's the difference. And by the same token, and by the same token, we should be absolutely resolute in our opposition to what the Israeli state is doing for the Palestinian people. These are two sides. What I would say is you need to be careful about bringing in the Rothschilds because then you are beginning to play into completely unnecessary tropes which take people down in the wrong direction. It is nothing to do with international finance in this respect. It's to do with imperialism and all of the things we've discussed here. So all I would say is hold the line on that. We know that there is an explicit strategy being put forward by the Israeli state to use these accusations of anti-Semitism against the BDS movement. That's been made quite clear. You should saw the minister responsible for that particular unit in the Israeli state. He came to London just last month and he was trying to draw up support to use the charges of anti-Semitism to fight against BDS. They know this because BDS is working and it is showing exactly what the truth of Israel's policies against the Palestinian people really are. We must hold the line. An absolute condemnation of anti-Semitism and, by the same token, a condemnation of the state of Israel for its crimes against the Palestinian people. Thank you.